Hey, it's Roman with Basic to Final. In this video, we're looking at the new board utility by Alaskan Grizzly. It is a awesome system for getting new boards built in DCS very quickly. If you've got squadron documents or things that you want to update every day, you can just pop it in. It takes a few seconds once you know how to do it. And so this video should help you out. Okay, so we're here at dcsnewboardbuilder.com. This is an awesome new board utility by Alaskan Grizzly. You can find his form documentation here on the ED forms, link in the description, and you can find this website, link in the description. The first thing you wanna do is go to the download. You'll hit the download button and you'll save the file. And you'll notice you need uh, this .NET Framework 4.5. If you've already installed a uh, simple radio, you already have that. And you, you probably already have it anyways, but it's here for your convenience if you do need it. Once you've downloaded it, you'll open the form location. You can just write copy on this. And what I like to do is I like to go to the Kneeboard Builder. I just I make a, a folder on my desktop called Kneeboard Builder. I'll paste in that zipped file. I'll right click on it and I'll extract all and I'll extract it right in here. And I'll just replace the files in the destination. That's no problem. Okay, once it comes up, you'll find the Kneeboard Builder.exe. And if you double click on it, you get this screen and it goes to crash and it says hang on we're reporting the problem this stumped me for the longest amount of time but if you just run it as administrator you'll see it actually works just fine no problems so the form comes up the first thing you want to do is you're going to go to kneeboard settings i'm sorry not kneeboard settings uh kneeboard preferences you want to make sure that this is set up properly and your save games directory set up properly and this would only be a problem if you uh, set this up on a different drive. Maybe you put it on your D drive or your E drive or something like that. But mine's on my C drive. It's no problem. So the other thing you want to do is you want to change this resolution. You want it as high as you can. So I turn it up to 1200 and all these other uh, boxes. You can read about them in, in documentation. But for our purposes, you really don't need to mess with them. So I've got the resolution turned up high and I've saved it. Now I want to add a document to my kneeboard. Um, so what I can do is I can come over here and I can find um, a, a checklist. Okay, it needs to be a PDF checklist. And you might have to test this a few times. Now I added the file, right? So I'm gonna select the aircraft. This is an A10C checklist and I'll call it new checklist test. Okay, and I can begin the import. And this might take a little bit of time. It doesn't take too long for small files, but if you're doing the A10 manual, which you can do, by the way, that might take a bit of time, 30 minutes or so. Okay, it lets you know, bam, conversion complete. I'll go back, I'll open up that. And now we need to actually set up our kneeboard. This is a step some people forget. Um, we can set it up for the general DCS kneeboard, all aircrafts and whatnot. We can set it up for specific aircrafts. And since this is a um, A10, we'll set it up for that. But uh, default kneeboard, you can manipulate this and you can you can clear the default kneeboard from caucus, get rid of the default um, A10 or uh, DCS stuff if you'd like, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. So A10C, we call this new checklist test. We'll go ahead and move it over, okay? And then it's just as simple as build custom kneeboard for A10. And it says custom kneeboard build. That's it, you're set up. And so we'll go to the cockpit view now. Okay, so we're in the cockpit now, and the first thing you want to do is just make sure that you have your kneeboard control set up. You go to search, and you just type in kneeboard. You need on, off, next page, and previous page. Different airplanes have other options for up here, but these are the three main I use across all my airframes. And so the first thing is you'll open it up, and I've already moved my checklist around. Um, and you can see it's pretty, pretty handy. You can reference pretty quick. Um, and the more RAM you have, the quicker this works. But uh, if you get documents that look like this, you have to manipulate your font. That's a, a font problem from my experience. You can change the size, you can change what font you're using, and it will normally fix that problem. But if you see that, don't be discouraged. It took a little bit of tweaking, but just manipulate the font, try your upload again, and it should work. And once you get one that works, you just keep it in there and you should be pretty good to go. But uh, as you can see, it's a pretty useful document or useful system. I can get mission briefings, pretty much any of the critical information I want to reference right here in my kneeboard. 
and I can reference it at will. And uh, it's pretty important for things like the A-10 and probably the F-18 when it comes out. Systems-rich aircraft, I think this is an awesome utility. And so Alaskan Grizzly did a great job. And so that pretty much concludes the video, and uh, thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video and found it to be worth your time. That said, a lot of time was put into the production and editing of these videos. And I hope you consider helping us out by liking, commenting, or subscribing below. Again, thanks for watching.